And we're back now with uh, Rick Guetta, businessman here in McAllen. Neil Canales here. Okay, the event is over, and beautiful music there at the end. A middle school choir. Absolutely outstanding. Sound music. like adults. They really do. They do a great job. So, what did you hear? What do you think about with the mayor's state of the city speech? Well, I was very pleased to see that Mac McAllen continues to put quality of life at the forefront, uh, whether it's the parks, the trails and all the money during these trying times that the uh, city does spend on uh, quality of life issues, and that's why McAllen is a leader in these issues. I think the other thing I was very pleased to see is that McAllen's heritage is one of being business friendly. And, uh, you know, the old story about uh, McAllen got its start with the uh, free water being given to the soldiers to come in and water their horses. I'm afraid in today's environment, there'd be so many permits and re required that it wouldn't be unable to do it. So I think it's very important that McAllen get back to its heritage, which is being friendly to business and having a friendly business environment. And I'm glad that they're taking uh, uh, steps to go in that direction. And we can guarantee you clean water, a superior rated by Texas. <laughs> Undoubtedly, that makes, it, that makes it even better. Okay, and 2013, what do you see for the year? Well, I'll tell you what, it's, it was a trying 2012, but, I, you know, we're cautiously optimistic, as you always want to be optimistic about uh, the, the future. But uh, I think the long-term plans that the city has, and uh, we see some positive things happening, and uh, we're hopeful. Uh, uh, looking through, I'm not trying to look through rose-colored glasses, but uh, we have a lot of challenges with government regulations at the federal level uh, coming down on businesses, and uh, uh, very many people are very, very, very concerned about the future, but uh, we're just one day at a time. And if there's one place that can do it, it'd be McAllen. If I had to be anywhere that I had to be, McAllen's the place I want to be. Okay, Rick Guetta, McAllen Businessman, thank you so thank much you. for your comments. And we'll be back in just a second with more. Thanks for staying with the McAllen Cable Network. I'm Roxanne Lerma. We just finished up our State of the City address. Lots of exciting things happening in the city of McAllen. To talk with us a little bit more about that is Mr. Raymond Jenkins, the president of Frost Bank. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you very much. So your take, your thoughts on what we just heard from Mayor Cortez. Well, I guess the first thing, uh, I'm sad to say he's not running again. Yeah. But I am thankful that we had him for two terms. I think he did an excellent job. So. And I know it's a very time-consuming job and took a lot of time away from the family and the business. So first of all, I'd like to tell Richard thanks. Uh, second, a couple things I thought were a little unique. One, that a politician in our city is smart enough to recognize the new global economy, the cyber world, right. especially when retail sales are so important to us, and that realize that we need to be very specific on the type of industry we bring in, the type of retail we bring in. I think that's unique in, uh, in intelligence by them. And, and also, you don't hear many politicians talk about expense control. And no, you don't. <laughs> from a taxpayer, uh, the fact that they acknowledge expense control is extremely important. Uh, I think it is. McAllen needs to continue to, to keep its pro-business attitude. Uh, you know, somebody coming into the valley, driving around, this is where you want to locate. Absolutely. And so that's what I took away from it. We heard from him about wanting to generate economy and facil facilitate a lot more trade at the Anselduas Bridge. What is what is your thoughts on that? Well, I know that the, the, there's the issue about we have to get the, the truck traffic across. Right. I, I think that's the biggest deal to generate the, the traffic across. Uh, I think the other thing that's important to the Anselduas Bridge is compared for an old-timer like me, when you used to either go to Hidalgo, down to Progreso, or to Brownsville, you didn't have any choices, at least now with the, with the far bridge and then they'll do a bridge. The, it makes it much more attractive to the citizen of Mexico to get across because you have alternatives. Right. We also heard a lot about security issues, and that is at the forefront. We hear it on the news each and every day. So he has a really strong stance about what we need to do about that. What do you think about that? Well, um, I consider the, the chief of police a friend. Uh, I feel very safe in the city. I know okay. you read about all that's going on just south of here and, in, and even in some of our surrounding cities. But I, I tip my hat to our local law enforcement. I think McAllen is a safe place to, do, to raise a family, 
to uh, have a place for employment. Uh, it's a place that I never fear walking at night. And so I think uh, I, I commend our law enforcement people. What do you think sets us apart? Because we did talk about being conservative in terms of this recession and our hard economic times, but yet McAllen has actually been able to stay afloat. Well, it's a pro-business community. Right. It's an extremely good financial condition, and that is because the fact it's built the retail base. And third, it's put a place for people that would want to live. It provides the, the recreational trails, the cultural events, the things that are so important when you're raising a family. And even when after somebody like me, who my family's raised, it's a place I want to live and a place where I'd love to have my grandkids come see me. Wonderful. I like that. And lastly, we heard a lot about what's coming in 2013, a lot of exciting things, more parks, et cetera. What are you looking forward to for the city of McAllen in the coming year? Well, I, I'm a little prejudiced. I'm on the Quinta board. So <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, like I'm, looking for, I'm looking for the continued expansion of the Quinta Mazzalan. It's a jewel of this city. Uh, and unfortunately, a jewel a lot of our citizens haven't seen. And I, I look forward to seeing it connected to the walk and uh, bike trails so that it can be a destination or a rest off point. And uh, I think that's going to happen in the next year or two. I'm excited about that. And I have to admit that last week I actually went out with one of the photographers from McAllen for the very first time. And it's amazing out there. So I it hope it amazing. works I out. Hope you, I hope everybody's watching goes out and sees the place. I'm sure that they will. Raymond Jenkins, thank you so much for being with us. And thank stay with us. We have a lot more special guests lined up for you. Neil Canales back. We're with Laura Warren with Warren Group Architects. Ms. Warren, you saw the speech. Comments? It was a motive. It was an eye opener. And I think uh, a man of vision, a great leader, you know, like a Mayor Cortez, is a great proof of a business oriented community, a community with a strong sense of uh, civic duty. And that's the reason why our, our region will continue to grow very strong and stay strong. Now, the regional comment that we need to work as a region. We have been working as a region. I think that the city of McAllen has always thought regionally. Mm -hmm. Our McAllen Economic Development uh, Corporation has always thought that way and has helped the community. Um, I think that we do need to stop thinking the football way, which mm -hmm. is what the mayor said, and really start looking at our new reality, what the new markets are. Uh, the Rio Grande Valley Partnership is also looking at new mobility plans, and uh, we're growing as a community. If uh, another business comes into one of our neighbor cities, we all benefit from that. People live here, they shop here, and they travel here, so it's all good. Yeah. Now, you're an architect. Yes, sir. And um, uh, to, in, order, in order for an architect to uh, do business, things have to be happening. Yes, sir. Are things happening? Yes, things are happening quite a bit. As uh, most of the developers architect and an industrial architect, we're seeing a lot of interest in our community, uh, strongly in McAllen and also in our neighbors. Um, the new improvements in our roadways are important to attract developers and retail communities and developments. Uh, the growth in our McAllen Airport, which we're working on, uh, has also attracted now a new airline, Aeromar, mm -hmm. which yeah. was announced this week. We're very excited about that. That will increase, uh, increase our revenue from our neighbors in Mexico and other people who, who like to come here and travel from here. Okay, so uh, prediction for 2013, what would you say? Growth, growth, growth. A lot of growth in, our, in my calendar. I see a lot of growth in production, uh, in manufacturing, in entertainment. We'll continue to grow. And although we heard some bad news this morning about the hotels, we still have hotels interested here. They have signed in, and they're strong, and they're coming up. Okay. Laura Warren, the Warren Group. Architects, thank you very much. Thank you. We'll be back with more in just a second. Becky Guetta, a very prominent businesswoman here in the city of McAllen. So we just heard our mayor's address. What really stuck out for you? What stood out for Ms. Guetta? You know, Richard Cortez has always been a great mayor for the city of McAllen. He not only stays aware of our current position in the Rio Grande Valley region, but also is aware of future hurdles that are right around the corner for us. And I think that 
that awareness has always helped him prepare and plan so that McAllen stays above the rest of the Rio Grande Valley. And you and I were talking off the scene here, and you said what's important is that he looks at it, not just city of McAllen, but we're looking regional success. I really thought that was a very important point that he made, that strengths and, and, and uh, pluses that some of our neighbors have in this region actually help us in a way. Um, if you consider, for instance, the outlet stores that are not here in McAllen, if somebody needs to travel from Rio Grande City or another area to get to the outlet stores, they go through McAllen. So just the strength of the outlet stores being in the Rio Grande Valley, we all kind of um, benefit from that. But we need to, to keep a positive view when we're thinking about some of the things that maybe our neighboring cities have that we don't have. Excellent. So we heard a wide range of topics from Mayor Cortez. We heard about security. We heard about parks and soccer fields. And what do you think is the priority going into 2013? I think most certainly being, once again, real aware of that secondary economy that he was talking about. The fact that the internet has affected maybe local um, sales tax. The new normal. Um, and I think most certainly his being aware of that and, and, and trying to plan ahead as that part of the market increases in size just shows how, how carefully his perception um, helps us here in McAllen. So I think that, that was the most, that was one of the, the biggest ideas that I had not thought of before. Right. That's important to us here. So from a business perspective, what do you think the secret is? Because all in all, the city of McAllen has fared pretty well considering it's been some pretty harsh economic times. Mm -hmm. What do you think is the secret? You know, I think once again, this pre-planning and pre-analyzing that the mayor has always done is what keeps us a step ahead. And, and helps us solve problems that maybe have not been identified yet, but they know they're, they're perceived as possible problems. And so I think that pre-planning is really what makes us uh, successful. He has set us apart. And lastly, your reaction, you know, eight years and, and that's it, no more. I love Richard Cortez. He has done so much for the city in, of McAllen. I think he has done such a great job in creating even a bigger cultural awareness uh, creating the cultural value that we have in McAllen, and I'm going to miss him. But I know that even if he's going to be part of the general population, he's going to be back there, a cheerleader for culture and the arts. He actually will be a big cheerleader for the entire city of McAllen. I Thank think you, Geta. So. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. And we hope that you stick with us because Neil Canales has much more for you. And we're joined by Judge Aida Salinas Flores of the 398th State District Court in Edinburgh. And so hopefully if you've uh, met her, it's on good terms. <laughs> okay, Judge, you heard the speech. Any reactions or off the bat? I, I think it was very uh, thoughtful. I think he covered a lot of the bases. Uh, one of the issues that I was very pleased to see him talk about was the regional facility. Mm -hmm. uh, to talk about regional the area in terms of a region as opposed to individual Now, that's what you've been doing at the courthouse for years. Well, we live in Hidalgo County, and Hidalgo County is comprised of 22 different cities. When we run for office in this particular community, I tell them Hidalgo County is a very unique community. It's mm -hmm. made out of two and two different municipalities, and each of them has their own, like, fifth them? Is that what they call them? Little kingdom? <laughs> But when we have situations for security reasons, like we have uh, some person who uh, commits an offense in Palm View and runs and escapes through Mission and then mm. goes on to McAllen, lots of, jurisdictions. Uh, lots of jurisdictions are being crossed, and we need to have the thinking uh, in terms of regional facilities. So that was very important to me, because for years I've been thinking regional. And for the mayor of McAllen to be thinking regional is very innovative, very productive, and saying, hey, we need this facility. 
wherever it's best, let's put it wherever it's best. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily McAllen, but if McAllen is the best place, well, let's just leave it there. You know, I don't know what they're talking about in terms of infrastructure, bricks and mortar, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But in terms of security, in terms of cost savings, in terms of funds coming to the area, uh, regional, mm -hmm. regional areas pull more monies as a unit than they do individually. So that's uh, something that I was very pleased to hear about. And it's the MEDC uh, concept that uh, for years, the Macallan Economic Development Corporation trying to bring businesses, big businesses to the area, it's to the area. They don't care where it goes. Exactly. It's exactly. the regional. Because it's our area. It's our gente. It's mm. our people that are going to benefit from the funds, from the protection, from the services that are brought here for this particular area. Okay. So I guess the uh, final word is, be, is that we are from this region. I live in McAllen, or maybe Mission, or FAR. And I shop but in Mercedes. But it's my, my region. It's my area, and this is my home, and it's all of the Rio Grande Valley. All the way from Star County, all the way to Willacy, Cameron, Hidalgo. All of this is our Rio Grande Valley. We are South Texas. That's it. Judge, thank you so much. We appreciate no, it. thank you. And thank the mayor for his eight years of service. It's an honorable profession to be involved in public service, and we shouldn't be tied up in the scandals of the day or the uh, anything thing, else. Anything else. We should uh, be concerned with the public servant and the service that they provide our community, and it's a wonderful commitment that he has made for the last eight years, and I thank him. Thank well, him for wonderful his words. Thank Appreciate you. it very much. Back in just a moment. We're back with Alma Ortega Johnson, the chairman of the board with the McAllen Chamber of Commerce. Ms. Alma, what is your take, your reaction to the words that we heard from Mayor Cortez? Well, you know, I was very happy to hear uh, the financial health of the city of McAllen. It's incredible, I, isn't it? It is absolutely incredible. It's absolutely uh, terrific what they have done for this community and also about safety that is really, really important for this uh, area and how much they are investing in infrastructure and also uh, how much they are investing in leisure, tourism, to attract uh, people to this area. At the end of the day, uh, we need to improve the quality of life of this community. And I like that uh, Mayor Cortez was very clear on his long-term vision. Right. And he clearly explained the challenges that we are facing in this community. But it's not only just to mention what challenges are, but what we need to do about that. And obviously, all of us as a, as a chamber of, of commerce uh, in McAllen, we continue supporting the city of McAllen in all the, uh, to face all those challenges to improve the quality of life of this community. So you mentioned quality of life and infrastructure and security. Why do you think it was so important for our city leader to address those things? Well, absolutely. That is aligned to, to what we have been addressing in the McAllen Chamber of Commerce. For instance, you know safety that we have been um, impacted for uh, in this area for what's happening in, in, in our country. Right. And, and the McAllen Chamber of Commerce has been doing something about it. And then also the McAllen Chamber of Commerce supports a lot of arts, leisure, tourism, bringing conventions to this uh, community, it obviously supporting all the small businesses to grow. And that's a way that we can improve the quality of life. And Alma, we heard a lot about the soccer fields and the parks and the Splash Park and the Fireman's Park. Why is that so important for our residents? Well, well it is important for the people who is living here because that is going to have a little uh, uh, family-oriented activities. Those are healthy. That is something that is going to attract not only the people who live in this community, but also we're attracting sports tourism because we are bringing uh, 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 sports to this community from mm -hmm. outside uh, McAllen. And it's not only for what we are of offering here for the people who live here, but also to attract tourism, sports tourism. One of the things he also uh, touched on is if we want to continue this economic prosperity, that it's important to look at this, not just as the city of McAllen, but regionally. 
Do you agree it, with that? Absolutely. As a region, uh, you know, I came from El Paso. I have been here for eight years, mm -hmm. and I have seen how much this community has grown, not only McAllen, but also the, all the communities next to us. Uh, Mayor Cortez was mentioning how retail has been spraying out in the different communities right. and how that has impacted each one of the cities, not only McAllen or not, or not only other cities. And he also mentioned the challenges about uh, how um, technology is impacting. And as a region, we need to work together. And we, we heard that also, you know, we have this project to merge the two universities. That right, is in our medical a, school. In the, in the medical school. And this is a regional project. This is not all, only for one city. And mm -hmm. all of the cities are working together. And that is absolutely critical to, in the eyes of the legislators to see us as a region, in the eyes of nonprofit organizations or foundations that support this community. They need to see us as a Rio Grande Valley together. So obviously we have a lot of exciting things. What are you most excited about for the coming year, for the year of 2013 for the city of McAllen? Well, uh, you know, we have, uh, obviously the project that I mentioned, the, the merger of the I university. Knew you were go back to that. <laughs> I'm so excited about that. You know, yeah. if that really comes true, that I'm sure it's going to happen, that will be the most amazing things happening to us, and mainly because that is a regional project, and all of us are going to be benefited for us. Absolutely. For mm -hmm. Okay, Ms. Ortega Johnson, thank you so much for your take, My and we pleasure. really appreciate you being here with us. Stick with thank us. So Neil will be right back with more special guests for you. And Neil Canal is back with the president of the McAllen School Board, Hilda DeShazo. Hilda, initial reaction to the mayor's speech. Oh, I thought it was wonderful, Neo. You know, we're certainly going to miss uh, Mayor Cortez. He's done a great job in the last eight years. I thought he put his heart in it, and you could tell just by his reaction, his facial expressions, his emotions showed. I really think that that really shows that he cares so much for the city, and I'm just so sad to see him go. But, you know, we're hoping that we can you know, move on. And I, I know he's going to be happy to be with his family and his grandchildren and just use his time to do other things. So, yeah, I was really happy with it. Really now, he happy. mentioned the school board in there and made a big hoop-de-doo about <laughs> your awards. And I know, uh, but the school board, people don't know how big the school district is. It's huge with a humongous budget. And it's a he heck of a lot of work to do, especially as a volunteer <laughs> on the school board. Uh, what's new for McAllen Schools 2013? Well, first of all, I want to thank the mayor and all the city of McAllen for recognizing us. It, it, it was a huge award, Neil, you know, we're very proud. Um, as far as what's in store, we're con going to continue with our technology and improve our 21st century learning. We're going to uh, continue to show the rest of the state and the rest of the country, really, what we're doing here with our iPad initiative and our technology initiative. We have several uh, conferences scheduled where lots of school boards from other parts of the state and the country are coming to visit us. As a matter of fact, the last visit that we had, we had over 65 school districts represented, and we even had some people from Mexico, some schools from Mexico. So we're moving on with that. We're also moving on with our parental involvement. We had a great turnout at our family engagement conference this past Saturday. It was held at McAllen High School, our alma mater. And uh, we just continue to incorporate the business community. We uh, want the business community to come to some of our training. As a matter of fact, on Tuesday, we had a training at I think it was Tuesday, where we had a iPad training for the business community, and we held this at Memorial High School. And I was so glad to see that so many of our business partners were there to partake from how to use the iPad. And the students at Memorial High School were the assistants. And I was so glad to have a little girl sit right next to me so she could take me step by step as to what we were doing. <laughs> that they say, if you want to know how to do it, ask a kid from or anybody from McAllen Schools. That's right. You can just ask us. Um, we're also continuing with recruitment for the best qualified personnel to teach our children. We want all of the children of McAllen to have the best A-plus education and continue to make this district, Neo, the A-plus school district that it is. I'm so proud to be part of it, and I just look forward to advancing all of our endeavors. And I certainly want to recognize Dr. Bonson, the administration, all of our students and staff. And, of course, we have to focus on our kids. Our kids are great. And, you know, Neo, that award that we got... 
we dedicated it, or I dedicated, the board dedicated it really to the children, to our staff, because it is our people that make it easy for us. They're the ones that make it so easy for us to be able to make the decisions. Not all of the decisions are easy, but because of their presentation, preparation, and organization, we're able to move forward. And I just want to thank all of the kids. I want to thank De Leon Middle School. They were great today, their little choir. And I just look forward to working with the school district and hope that we can take it to the next level, which we are. Hilda DeSejo, president of the Callan School Board. Thank you very much. Okay, and now here's Roxanne with more. And thank you, Mr. Neo. And now we are joined by some pretty familiar faces in the medical arena, Mr. Elmo Lopez and Mike Adams from South Texas Health Systems. Gentlemen, thank you so much thank for being you. with us. Thank you. So obviously we heard a lot of exciting things that have happened in the city of McAllen and that are going to happen. What really stood out for you, Mr. Lopez? Well, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, the mayor for his service. He announced uh, today that he will not be running, and uh, we're saddened by that. But uh, we uh, know he worked hard for these last eight years and brought us to a different level in the city of McAllen with services and with growth. So uh, we uh, hate to see him go, but we understand and we honor his decision. Uh, the city of McAllen and uh, the health care that uh, is in the city of McAllen, uh, specifically McAllen Medical Center, McAllen Heart Hospital, where Mike is, uh, we are continuing to grow. We're continuing to see a tremendous growth because our population here uh, and the, the growth also in the services that we're bringing into our community. Uh, we have a higher level of, of uh, heart care with Mike's Hospital. We at our hospital are doing neurosurgery. We have the region's only kidney transplant center south of San Antonio. We are developing the uh, area's uh, highest level of trauma care, a, a trauma care level two for our citizens here where we have trauma surgeons sleeping in for a 15 minute response time for any trauma. And that's a very, very valuable service that we're providing to the, to the community. And any other services that we have uh, has helped us take care of an ever-growing population uh, based on the tremendous progress that the mayor and the uh, city commissioners have, have done in these past few years. All right, speaking of progress, from what we heard, what really stood out for you, Mike? What are you looking forward to in the year 2013 for the city of McAllen, and not just us, but as a region in general? You know, as, as a city and as a region in general, I'm excited about us being one of the fastest growing cities in America. Being in the Valley for 13 years, I realize that the health of our citizens here is extremely important. We have some unique challenges here in, in our region with health. Our system is committed not only to caring for, for our patients and our, our, the residents of our Valley, um, you know, when something goes wrong in their life, but we're also committed to preventing some of those disease processes through healthy living, through healthy eating, through some of our public forums that we offer for the, for the citizens here uh, with uh, uh, conversations with our physicians, with some public education and so forth. Uh, we want to, to be a part of helping, uh, you know, for our, our younger generations to, to have healthier and better lifestyles so that they can avoid some of the disease processes that we now see. So for us, we want to be a part of that. We want to be a part of the community health and improving community health. Um, our facilities um, are firm believers in improving with technology. Uh, our facilities are bringing in new technology this year. Some of this technology currently does not exist in the Valley, so there'll be more to come on that. We're firm believers that we're good community citizens. We want to help. The, uh, you know, our fellow citizens here in the Valley, and we're excited to be a part of what the city's going to do and, you know, what our system will be able to do for, for the wonderful, wonderful people here in the Rio Grande Valley, and thank you. Excellent. So it's just another example of our collaborative ventures that are exciting and prospering here in the city of McAllen. So stick with us. We have much more for you from the state of the city here in the city of McAllen.
Okay, Neil Canal is back along with Roxanne Ledma, and I guess it's at the end of the day. They're cleaning up the room. Yeah, I think they're about to kick us out, but uh, fortunately, quite an event. It was just wonderful hearing from Mayor Cortez and lots of good feedback from what he had to say. It was good information all the way around, and we gleaned other good information from our special guest today, finding out a little bit what's happening in the community. Uh, wide variety of businesses, a wide, wide variety of uh, entities that are part of what we call the regional community in and around McAllen. That's exactly right. I think what I took away from everybody that we spoke to today is that, yes, it's a city of McAllen. Yes, we're doing wonderful, but it's also a regional effort to do that. And that's the way that it has developed because, you know, the, the lines between the cities. When I was young, you had to go out into the country before, when you drove from McAllen to Mission. Now the line is kind of blurry. Yeah, it is a little blurry. We are all together. Yeah, we're all kind of one. And I think we're all moving ahead. And uh, McAllen is leading the charge in that, <laughs> in that respect. And with everybody together, we can, no telling what we can do as a powerful region of South Texas. Absolutely. And now uh, I think we're joined by a very special guest. Um, okay, uh, he's, a familiar, he's, a, he's a familiar. He's a familiar face okay, that get, you get might know. Get in right here. Okay, okay. Let me get over here. Let okay. Me get over here. Okay. Uh, uh, and Mr. Now, this Roy is Roy Cantu, too. City yeah, of McAllen. Knows who he is. Public Information Director. Well, let me tell you. I think the mayor did an incredible job with his speech. He had been uh, working on it for the last several weeks, and uh, I think he came in with a lot of good information for the entire community of McAllen. And, you know, the big news probably is that he does, he's not going to see, seek a third term. And right now he, had, he held a news conference with the media and he explained it to them. Basically, he felt there's still a lot more work to do, but he's going to trust that whoever's in the, the, that position in the future, they will get it done. That there's a good vision for the city of McAllen and that everything's going to move forward. Now, question, speaking about getting things done and getting things, putting th getting things together, what does it take to put an event like this together? Uh, a lot of a cooperation from a whole bunch of people. It's you know, I, I'm just the coordinator, <laughs> and then you get dozens and dozens of other people to do all the detailed work. But it takes a lot. But at our organization, as you know, we all like to work together. All the different departments join forces. We pick the best people in what they do, and they're sort of head up the different areas. You know, we had our uh, one of our grants employees up in front handle all the registration, close to 900 people. Uh, and then inside the room, you have the convention center, you have, you have people like my department, the MCN department, and then other departments that serve as ambassadors. So it takes a, the entire group to put this on. And we, of course, we enjoy it because we get to hear our boss actually tell us how the city's doing and what direction we want to go in. For next year and the year on, beyond, and, and the year beyond. Uh, forever. This thing continues to grow, uh, uh, and it gets better every year, I think. And, you know, we dug one little hole out here on this location several years ago. Look what grew, <laughs> the convention center. Exactly, and, and it continues. You know, now we communicate to our community, as you know, Neil, through different channels. So this time we had Ustream, we have the city cable channel, we have, we have it on internet. Uh, on our website. We did Facebook and Twitter. I mean, it just wasn't one thing to get the information out. And we got a great response on the social media wise. Uh, I was keeping track throughout the thing. There's a couple an a couple questions. I have to go get the answers. So I know <laughs> what I'm talking about and sound real smart. But it, it, what's important is that we no longer just communicate one way in McAllen, that we're, you know, moving into the next phase where we're looking for different avenues to do it. You know, we're going to have a good announcement in a few months uh, that Neo is sort of uh, heading up. And that's going to be awesome. Ah, awesome. oh, super secret. Not really. Not it's, really? The cat's out of the bag? It's out in the open in front of everybody. <laughs> All um, you need do you is, want to tell us about it? You need ears and... and, and we'll have more to come. Yeah. The dot, ability dot, to dot. speak. Okay, so lastly, your reaction to the entire event and the fact that we had a packed house and... Just your reaction overall. Well, I, I thought the sort of the group of India sort of said it all, that McAllen before was so homogenized, the whole valley is so homogenized, and that we have all these diverse groups and cultures in our community now. And the good thing that the mayor always selects the group that comes in, uh, a lot of people go, well, how did you select? I didn't select them. The mayor does. He invites them, and they sort of have to come up with their own performance. Uh, this group was the adult version. Had the kids been here, there'd been a lot more uh, uh, dancing and stuff. However, they, what they wanted to show is their culture, and each dress was different from a different part of India, and uh, that's what they wanted to express, and I think they got that message across, and I was happy to work with them. We were here last night practicing, and today it was like it was flawless. I was like, thank God. Were you practicing? Were you? Yeah. No, no, I was just cueing them. I'm the cue person, and they did all the work. Excellent.
Yes, you know, McAllen is truly international. Yes. It's, uh, it's amazing. Yes. Well, it look, looks like they've got the, oh, they're bringing down the lights, as a matter of fact. I guess that's it for us. He's Roy Cantu, Roxanne Ledma, I'm Neil Canales, and for 2013, this has been the Mayor's State of the City Address. Thank you.